All right, when are you going to finally learn about frequency, bro? When are you going to finally learn about it? You watch all these videos and how important is it, but you never really take the time. You know, that's why some people just get it easy. You know, they just succeed on just effortlessly. I'm going to make more than $45,000 alone this month profit. And people just watch me. They're like, bro, but how do you do it, Alex? Like, how do you do it? It looks like you're just enjoying your life all the time. And how, how the fuck is that happening? Why some people just get it on easy mode? doesn't matter where they start from. And some people just try so hard and nothing really happens. You need to finally learn about frequency and states of mind. If you operate from low frequency state, from something, for example, like fear, you can really attract things in your life from something like doubt. That's why there's a lot of people who, you know, try to visualize and manifest. And you probably watch all these videos about, you know, these things. And the main reason why they're not working for you is because you're operating from a low frequency state. When you operate from a low frequency state, you can't attract anything good in your life. So there's high frequency states, low frequency states. For example, something like fear, doubt are one of the worst states you can operate from. If you're not present, if you're not grateful, you cannot attract anything in your life. It's all about perspective. It's all about changing your mind right now to attract the life that you want later. A lot of people say, yeah, Alex, it's so easy for you to be grateful when you have that life. But my life is so shit, I can't really do it. When I get rich, then I'm going to be in a good mood. Then I'm going to be happy and grateful when I get rich. When you get rich, that's not how it works, bro. You're never going to get rich as long as you're in that frequency, in that mood right now. You need to first change the way you view the world, the, the way you perceive reality and how you feel right now. First, you need to change that in order to get the life that you want later. It doesn't work the other way around. If it was that easy, everyone would do it. But that's why most people attract things on easy mode and they get success on easy mode. And some people try so hard and they just can't get it. A year ago, things weren't just going my way. I was in that self-improvement journey and I was just doing everything right. I was going to the gym. I was in a good shape. I was working hard, trying different business models, trying to make money, but nothing was really happening. Like I just tried my best, but things just weren't going my way. I wasn't making any money. And I was so sad and so angry about life that it's not going my way that I completely lost track of what I really have right now. And I was completely not grateful. I was not living in that current moment. I had so much pressure to succeed that I wasn't grateful. I wasn't appreciating what I had back then in my life. And that's why I was keep attracting that bad things because I wasn't even grateful for the things that I had right now. And if you're not grateful for what you have right now, God will never give you more. You can call it God, you can call it the universe, whatever you want. It works like that. It just tests you. It's like, okay, now you have this. Doesn't matter what you have, you have this. Are you grateful? And if you don't show respect, if you're not grateful, if you're not present, if you don't appreciate it, then, then you're going to get even less than what you have right now. So you're constantly being tested. And if you don't show respect, you're never going to ever, ever get more. Most people, again, live from such a low frequency like fear, like doubt, like things that they have done wrong in the past, but they keep... You know, saying that, ah, I should not, why I did that? Why I did that? Why I did that? It doesn't fucking matter. Just, just move on. And most of you guys live the dream life of a lot of people. You just don't realize it yet. For the people say, yeah, Alex, it's so easy for you to be grateful when you live this lifestyle. Right now I'm in like a tropical island in Thailand. It's so easy for you to be grateful, Alex. If I was living your life, I would also be so grateful. But it's not about that. It's all about perspective. Because I have a lot of friends right now who live here in Thailand. They make well over $10,000. They live here. They're in a good shape. And they're, they're constantly stressed 
they want more in life. They have so much pressure. They want to make a hundred k month. They want to do that and that. And they have so much problems and they're stressing out so much. They live in a low frequency state and their life, it's shit. And they feel like shit because they don't appreciate what they have right now. And they're not grateful. And that's why you can easily have way less and be more grateful and feel better than some people who have more. So it's just all about perspective. I was happy and I was feeling exactly the same way when I didn't have anything. So the same way that I feel right now, I was feeling when I didn't have anything. In order to come here, you need to feel the same way as if I feel right now. Right now, I'm in a specific frequency that my mind operates from. All you need to do is, you need to just copy that and start operating from the same frequency as me. And sooner or later, you're gonna come here and attract that lifestyle. You're gonna attract that life. It's just how it works. It comes to physical existence, but it all starts in the mind. So stop operating from low frequencies, like fear, like doubt, procrastinating, not doing the work that needs to be done, and just staying at the same place. That's why you feel anxiety, because you're not moving. It doesn't matter if you take the wrong decision or the right one. As soon as you're taking action, you can't really have anxiety. The only reason you get anxiety in life, the only reason you get depressed is because you're just not moving fast in life. You can be moving in the wrong direction, but as long as you're moving, I think it's way better than even like staying at the same place. Most people stay at the same place or they move so slow that that's why they're, they feel anxiety because they have work that they need to do and they're just keeping it for later, next week, next month, next month, next month, and it keeps stacking up. Your anxiety starts to raise and you just start to live in that stress, low frequency, anxiety, you're depressed, you're sad, you're not grateful, you don't live in the current moment, you have so much stress and pressure on your chest that you have put by yourself, not by your life, trust me. There's a lot of broke people who are literally homeless, who live way stressful life than you. They are homeless. The other day I went to the park. And there's some guy, he's obviously homeless. He just went, he probably spent his last money on some food and some water. And then he went to the park. He was chilling on the sun. He just fell asleep like the most peaceful guy I have ever seen in my life. And this guy's homeless. I can't even be that peaceful, even though I have all that, that this guy was homeless. So it's all about how you perceive reality. You can be way stressed having a lot of money and you can be very peaceful having nothing. So as long as you operate from a low frequency state, you're not going to be able to attract anything good in your life. If you're so sad about your life right now, you're so mad that your life is not going the way that you want, you're going to keep attracting that same bad things. You're going to be keep subscribing for that same things that you're feeling right now. So if you're right now, you feel bad, that's how, what you're going to attract. So as long as you start operating from high frequency states, which means wolf, which means gratitude, being present, not trying to be like everybody else, not trying to copy somebody, being truly yourself, being authentic, having confidence, being grateful and present again, appreciating what you have right now. That's how you go to that high frequency state, taking action, doesn't matter if it's wrong or not, taking action gets you to a high frequency state, going to the gym, training every single day gets you to a high frequency state, when I wake up at 3am, right after I wake up, I do burpees, I do push-ups because it gets me to that high frequency state, when you wake up, you don't have enough oxygen in your brain, you haven't been moving for hours, that's why you feel so bad, demotivated in the morning, everybody feels like that, you need some movement right after you wake up, you need some oxygen in your brain to start getting back in that mood. That's why when you sometimes maybe you have like a, the best, imagine the best workout you had in your life with your best friend in the gym or whatever. You just killed it. That was the best workout in your life. You trained so hard with your friends or alone, doesn't matter. How did you felt after that? You felt amazing, right? You felt like you had way more energy than usual, even though you literally done the hardest workout, even run or whatever you have done. You had more energy and you, feel, you felt in such a peace. When you're at that peak physical performance, when you're training so hard, 
You cannot be sad. You cannot be depressed. You're present. You're living in that current moment, lifting that heavy weight to failure, running, getting so tired you can't do it anymore. That's when you're in complete peace. That's when you live in that current moment. That's why when you finish after your workout, you feel so good because your frequency now is raised and it's high from that physical activity. That's why I train a couple of times a day sometimes. Yeah, maybe it's for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but I constantly try to to keep that flow state of just training, training, training every couple of hours because it just raises my frequency and I feel way more, you know, present, which leads me to attracting more things in my life, guys. So try to first fix your diet because that's going to impact how you look. That's going to impact your confidence, which is going to impact your frequency. Fitness, physical activity impacts your frequency. Try to be grateful. Try to be present. Try to live life as if you have already achieved everything. And try to not live in a state of fear. Try to operate from a state of gratitude, from a state of love. And just love life. Just love that you have just wake up. You have two hands. You have family, people who love you. You have water, roof over your head. You have food. You have everything. You live the dream life of most people. Be grateful of what you have right now or you will never have more. It's all about states of frequency. That's why I'm able to sleep three, four hours most of the times and still have more energy than some of you guys. It's because it's not just about how much you sleep or whatever. It's way more about energy levels. The only thing that tires you the most in life is negativity. It's living in that low frequency state. That's what tires you the most. If you're constantly in a flow state, in a high frequency, if you're so positive and grateful, you have so much more energy than usual. Even if you sleep or not, it doesn't fucking matter. If you just understand what I'm saying, it can literally change your life. I'm hoping maybe one or two people just listen to that and just get it. If you really want to see my morning routine and how I'm elevating to that higher frequency state, just follow me on Instagram. It's free. I'm documenting absolutely everything from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. I post everything on my Instagram. So go follow me there or just click the link in the description. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, send me a DM on Instagram as well. I respond personally to all of my DMs or just hit the link. I can help you with everything from mindset to fitness to business to making money online, building your personal brand, building your page, making money exactly the same way that I made. I can help you from absolutely everything that I have learned since this point of my life. I don't sell courses. I don't sell all of that stuff. I'm doing these videos simply to help the people who really want to be helped. That's it. And for the people wondering, but Alex, why is it paid to work one-on-one -on -one with you? Obviously, it takes my time. And there's obviously people who are smart enough to know how the game is played at the beginning. You need to pay to play. That's the only reason why I'm here is because I have invested in mentors. So now I'm just giving back that because if it wasn't for these people, I wouldn't be here. So now I'm doing the same things that I have learned from these people, paying thousands of dollars. I'm giving it away almost for free or for like one tenth of the price. And still I'm just charging just because it, ch it takes from my time. And because when you pay, when you have that little pain, you're going to actually pay way more attention and actually execute the things that you need to do. If you don't have skin in the game, you're not, you're not going to pay attention. You're not going to do anything. The more you pay, even if it's for the same things, as long as it's for coaching, the more you pay, trust me, the better results you're going to get simply because you're going to pay more attention. It's just how it works. That's for this video, boys. See you in the video tomorrow. Peace.